So here we have our Chinese neon sign UV. We have projected the UVs front, back, and all of the sides. And as you can see, everything is looking pretty good. So what we are going to do next is create a PSD network. What the PSD network is going to allow us to do is create one single Photoshop file for this shader right here that will be able to carry all of these different attributes like the color, the transparency, the ambient color, incandescence, the bump map, normal map, and on and on. What we're going to do is we are going to select this object right here. Then we have to go to our rendering and in our rendering menus, we have texturing and inside of texturing, we have the create PSD network. When we click on it, the options that we get are first the image name and it gives you this really long name. All you have to do is select everything before the dot PSD and make sure that you don't go and overwrite the source images forward slash because that's the place that is going to send it to. And we can call this Chinese letter sign layers and I put layers in caps so I can see immediately what it is. It's a PSD file with layers. We can select open Adobe Photoshop. So every time we edit this file, it will open automatically Photoshop. For the size, this is the size of our zero to one coordinate. So the bigger the size, the higher the resolution. I can go to the highest resolution, which is 2048. We always wanna keep the aspect ratio. Now we want to include the UV snapshot. What this is going to do is going to create a layer with a snapshot of what the UVs look like. We need that to know where we're going to paint. You can change the color right here. If you have different sets, you can select the UV set that you want. Position top and bottom determines where in the layer hierarchy you're going to put this file. And then right here below is what we're going to use to determine what is it that we want to create in this PSD network. Meaning that if I want to paint the color, I would have to move it on the right hand side. Now this is going to give me a layer inside of a group called color. And in Photoshop, we'll be able to manipulate the color in this layer. If I want to work, for example, my bump, select it, move it to the right hand side. And if I want to select, for example, translucency, same thing. Now I'm going to just leave it to color and bump for right now. And as soon as I hit create, you will notice that Photoshop will be launched automatically. Our textures have changed and I will show you immediately why. Okay, so we are in Photoshop and as you can see, we have everything in the right order. We have our UV snapshot on the top. Then we have two folders. One is for our bump and the other one is for the color. And as you can see, if I hide the visibility of the bump folder, here's our color. This is why our textures were modified. Now, this is where we are going to do all our painting. So if I select, for example, hue and saturation and make this whole thing black and start painting, I'm just going to select white real quick and just paint something right here. I will show you what the pipeline is going to be. As soon as I paint something here, all you have to do is hit save. And when we go back to Maya, you will notice that if we go to the hypershade, our UV shader will look different than before. All you have to do is use double click on it. And for the color right here on the right hand side, or you can do it inside of your hypershade, click on this connector. It will take you to where the file is. And you will notice if I close the hypershade that immediately our PSD texture node has been modified. I can go back to Photoshop, do something else to our color layer. All you have to do is hit save, go back to Maya. And if you click on the reload, your textures will be reloaded and updated in real time. And this is how we create and work with a PSD network inside of Maya.